horse, and our horse's name is Lucky. Lucky. And we have some activities for you today in the show, some things that you might like to try. You might like to have a go at cracking the whip. Yeah. See if you can do that. And then towards the end of the show, you'll all have the chance to milk the cow by hand. And a little bit later, Rowan's going to show you how we shear a sheep. But before he can do that, I have to move some sheep into the shed. Whenever we move sheep from one place to another, it's called mustering. And to do mustering, we use our special sheep dogs. The dogs that we use are Australian Kelpies, and they're specially bred for working sheep. Now, the Australian Kelpies have been bred for nearly 200 years, especially to work sheep, and now it's bred into the dogs. It's instinctive in them to work sheep. Now, I'm going to bring one of our dogs out now. Come on, Bill. Come on, get up. Now this is Bill. Bill's our youngest dog. He's only just over three years old. So if he was a person, he'd be about 21 years old. So he's still quite young. And what you might like to remember when you're seeing Bill doing the mustering is what you'll be seeing is mainly his natural ability, his natural instinct to round up the sheep and bring them to the stockman. Now I'm going to take Bill out now. I'll show you how the mustering works. And then after I've done that, I'm going to get Bill to, to run the sheep right back into the shed here, right back into this pen. Bill, sit. Come on, come on, Bill. Meaning? Now, during the mustering, this dog, remember that's me, controls the dog, and the dog in turn controls the sheep. Now, we use three main commands for the dogs. The command round sends him to the left side of the sheep. The command back sends him out to the right side. And stay makes him stay in one place. And because the sheep always move away from the dog, we can move them to wherever we want just by controlling our dog. So you can see the sheep is here, and I'm going to start by sending Bill to the left side of the sheep first, and that will bring the sheep back towards me. Here, Bill, round. 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 So as you can see, round sends him to the left side. Bill, round. <laughs> Stay. Good. So you see the sheep always move away from the dog. And that's how we move them to where we want them, just by controlling our dog. And this one will send Bill to the right hand side of the sheep. Once this one moves across a bit. <laughs> and we'll get Bill to bring the sheep into the shed this time. So we'll use the command back and we'll send him out to the right. Here, Bill, go back. Back. So back sent him to the right. Come on, Bill, push him up. Push him up. So the sheep move away from the dog again. Built round. You can see how it moves backwards and forwards behind the sheep, watching them all the time, keeping them all together. And here they come. Bill. Come on, Bill. 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 Come on, Bill. Bill, come here. Come on. Come on, boy. Sit. Sit. Boy. Now, a very important thing we do, once the dogs have moved the sheep for us, we like to reward them for doing that. And we do that just by giving them a pat, and that just lets him know that we're pleased with them. So just say, good boy, Bill, good boy. And also, once you've done this, as you can see, it signs him off. Let's him know that his work's finished, just for the moment. Now, you might be wondering what the horse was doing out there. Nothing really. <laughs> the mustering was done entirely by the dog. So what is the purpose of the horse? As you can probably guess, it's simply to provide transport for the stockman. Just to carry us along, keep us close to the sheep and the dogs, so we're in control of them all the time. <laughs>